What's up, y'all? Coming at you with another little gun review here. Uh, this one uh, y'all have seen on a little sneak peek. This is one of the ones I bought the other day and uh, showed you the boxes of in my one of my ammo videos. Picked it up at Rural King, and some of y'all already guessed what it is just from the box, and y'all was definitely right. But today we are looking at the Winchester Wildcat uh, 22 LR semi-automatic rifle. So in the box, of course, you get the box, you get your paperwork with your instruction manual, your NRA junk, your little safety safety info uh you get your your lock safety lock of course and all of them come with them so we'll put that over here to the side uh and then you get the gun i'll get this i'll get the box out of the way and we'll take a look at it all right here she is the winchester wildcat like i say 22 lr chambered 18 inch barrel semi-automatic rifle uh now i'm i'm using a new camera for this too so guys so let me know what y'all think my other one i think was fine but uh, the only problem I see with this one is it don't have near as wide of an angle on it. So uh, I'm having a little trouble keeping something like this in the, in the, all in the frame. So uh, I think the, the audio on this one's a little better though. So y'all let me know what y'all think about the audio video on this, on this one since it's a little bit different. Uh, but anyway, uh, also I want to just say ahead of time, I have taken this out to the range already. So I'm recording this part after the fact. It just worked out that way with my schedule. I was able to get up there and shoot this before I was able to uh kind of make this little unboxing so we'll go from we'll go from here anyway so so at least i can tell you some things that did and did not work on it so anyway first impressions taking this out of the box first thing i noticed was just how light this gun is this is a really light gun uh the actual weight on this thing is under four pounds total so really really light gun which i think is a good thing on a 22 lr uh you don't need don't get fatigued out there messing with it on such a small rifle you don't need anything big and heavy another thing you're going to notice is it's a lot of polymer on this gun the whole entire stock the upper part of the receiver trigger well trigger a lot of polymer uh really the only steel parts in this gun are going to be the bolt uh, the breech block, your uh, your springs and your rods and pins and, and uh, things like that inside of it. But for the most part, it's a polymer gun, which I'm fine with, honestly. Some people I know hate anything plastic, polymer, whatever you want to call it, but I'm, I'm fine with it. So many guns now are, are so much polymer that it don't make a difference to me, especially on a 22 LR. But anyway... Got some pretty unique features on this gun. Uh, like I say, for one, it's an 18-inch barrel. does have a pick rail on the top of it here built into the top of this receiver. Uh, Sights-wise, you got a little ghost ring, peep sight, whatever you want to call it, on the back, and you got the blade on the front. Now, your peep sight back here is fully adjustable for elevation and windage. It'll slide up and down your little ramp there, and then it'll go side to side with just, just one little uh, hex key for adjusting it. And I'll show you where that's at here in just a second. Um, a lot of cool little features on this gun as far as the looks of it i really like the looks the little black and red theme on it some people don't like that i know it makes it they think it looks a little toyish or futuristic or whatever but that that's honestly kind of what drew me to this gun with just seeing it up there sitting on the shelf was the black and red theme on it so i really like that uh it, it's uh, one really also another good thing that sold me on is that it, it actually takes Ruger 1022 magazine. So that's a really good thing because I've got a little 1022 already. So that's that's definitely a plus. It does come with one 10 rounder. Now your uh, magazine release, you got two different ways. You got a little tab underneath here and these little things on each side. Those are magazine releases. Now they slide together no matter what you do. Both of them operate the same. So you can either do your tab there. And it comes with a 10 round rotary magazine and really similar to the to the B, uh 1022 rotary magazines a couple of the big differences is you got that little metal tab back there that's the last round bolt hold open built in which the 1022 doesn't have and then you got this little wheel on the side in case you need any kind of assistance pushing your spring back to load it which you shouldn't i mean it's simple to load i think that's just a it was a little afterthought but anyway Got that, like I say, you can release it with the tab you've seen or you can hit it from the side. Got a really nice uh, firm eject, throws it right out on your hand. So you got that. Um, now to uh, hold the uh, Picatinny rail on top, actually I told you. Now on this thing on the front right here, uh, I was out shooting it the other day and it's got a little black cover that's on here if you don't want that open. It's got a little sling point and a little piece of pick rail under there. But it's got a little black plastic cover on it too and I took it out there on the range messing with it. I think I put it in my range bag. I can't find the stupid thing so I'll have to, I'll have to look for that. But it does have a little black plastic cover that comes over that if you want to keep it covered up. Uh, the bolt on it, 
Uh, this little tab here on the bottom, this little red tab, if you want to hold the bolt back, you pull the bolt back, push that down, and it, and it holds it back. Now, to let it go home, you can either do it the old-fashioned way or this little little red piece here on the side lets your bolt go. So push that down, lets the bolt go home that way. Uh, cross bolt safety on it, and it is, it is, you can take it out and reverse it, so that's ambidextrous. You, that, that's totally reversible. You can switch it to either side, so you got a cross bolt safety on it. Skeletonized stock on it, not a little, a little, uh, plastic butt piece on the back of it uh as far as the outside that's about all it is to it i mean it's got just your standard 10 uh your standard uh 22 lr type features on it like i say again real light real lightweight rifle so i, I actually like that in a 22 uh again it does take the uh i'll show you how it's this gun's unloaded so just so y'all know completely clear we'll, we'll put a couple of snap caps in here show you the, the operation of it i mean ain't ain't much to that operates like normal the trigger on it uh it's called, it says it's a four pound trigger i hadn't uh used my pull gauge on it but uh that feels about right so got one loaded up so it feels about like a four pound trigger so anyway got that also something to mention this is a striker fire gun whereas the 1022 is an internal hammer so this is striker fire uh, again, it takes the 1022 mag. You see, you got a VX25 here. Goes right in. Uh, cycles it right through, no problem. Cycles them with no problem at all. Ejects the same way. So, there's that. All right, got those out. Now I've got this drum here too. This one I actually have a little problem with on this gun. It's only it only worked about half the time. It started hanging up on me, and y'all see when once I upload the. Uh, the range video on it but if you'll notice on this and I, I will say now that this drum actually gave me problems in my uh in my 1022 at first also see how tight that thing fits it's just like this this mag well is, is maybe not as uh maybe not as deep as the 1022 so this one this one definitely gives me a little troubles there you see it locks in there but then when you when you try to go home it's just not it's just not lined up right so I don't know about this GSG one. This is a GSG brand, so I mean you can't blame that on the gun. It ain't meant to, it ain't it never said it it would function with that. So anyway, there's that. Runs perfectly fine with the 1022 Max BX25, the 15 round, or the double 25, any of those. Um, now one really unique thing about this gun is the way it actually breaks down. Uh, you, this thing is, it basically comes with all the tools you need to completely disassemble this gun. So what you'll do is Got the mag out. You don't necessarily have to take the mag out, but if you'll notice in the back there, there's a little red, a little red button there. And what you do is, and this is going to be a little difficult on camera, but you basically push it in there, and you'll feel it pull, and you pull the whole entire assembly out, and you'll notice your little your uh, charging handle rotates and everything, so it'll slide right out. So you just slid the whole internal lower receiver out of it. Uh, and most of this, like I say, again, this polymer, your bolt, your breech face, all of this, this part up here is all steel, of course. So, uh, to, to get the bolt out, very simple. You pull it back, push this little red piece up to, to make it, give it some clearance. It's a little, it's a little tight. I noticed earlier, but there you go. You, you, you completely break down. Now, another thing you'll notice on the side here, you see, you got two Allen keys. So the little small one. That's the one for that little, really little small hex head screw to adjust your rear sight. And then this big one actually finishes breaking the rifle down. So I'll show you that here real quick too. You're going to have two screws on this. Uh, you're going to have one right there. And then you got one right there in the stock. So I'll take those two off and show you what we get after that. All right, so we drop those two, two bolts out using the hex, the little hex key they give us, and then you just simply lift it right out. There's your stock there, and then you got your upper receiver with the barrel in it. Now, the next thing you do, same exact Allen key to, to pull your barrel out. There's a, there's a hex screw right here. It's secured on the other side with an aircraft nut, and then down in there, I'll show you once I pull this bolt out and give you a better look, actually. Let's get this bolt out. All right, so we got the bolt and the little nut come right out. It's a little captured aircraft nut. Now down in there, there's a little notch. And you can see, can you see as I spin that in that notch, there's a C-clip. So the last step to getting that bolt, uh, the barrel out, I'm sorry, is taking that C-clip out. I'll pop that out real quick. All right, we got the C-clip out. Like I was saying, just a C-clip. And you'll see the, 
the groove is now empty down in there where that C-clip came out of. I don't know if that's too dark. You should be able to see that. But then you just simply pull the barrel right out the front. Boom. And that's that's the notch that that C-clip was sitting in, that front one. You'll notice it's got a little, little cut out there. That's where that screw to help you clock the barrel right. So that's where that sits once you put it back in. But after you do that, that's it, guys. I mean, as simple as that to break that gun down completely, basically. Uh, so really easy. I really like that. It makes for super easy cleaning because if y'all have cleaned 1022, sometimes you know it's a pain. You got to pull the lower receiver out. Uh, and then you got to work that uh, recoil spring and the guide rod that's up under the bolt and finagle that at a weird angle to get it out. So this makes it real simple to get your bolt all nice and clean, your internals all clean and everything. So I thought that was really neat. So uh, to put it back together, obviously, you just you just put it right back in reverse. So I'm going to slap it back together and we'll finish this up. All right, I got the uh, two bolts back in, my C-clip and my, my bolt and my barrels. But I wanted, to, I wanted to hang tight right here before I put it completely back together. I wanted to show you something else pretty neat. Because of the way that button is on the back, it's going to be a little awkward, but uh, if you don't want to completely break it down and you still want to clean your barrel in the direction that you, you really should, I don't know how if y'all can see there, if I can get it lined up, but that allows you, if you use a cleaning rod instead of a snake, uh, that still allows you to come from the proper direction and do your cleaning. So that's a pretty neat little deal there. Then as far as putting your bolt back in and everything, don't don't forget to put your little Allen wrench back in the holding place. I, the other day, I, I uh, put it all back together and realized I forgot to put my Allen wrench. But anyway, uh, this this little uh, charging handle does rotate. But for now, you just you line those little grooves up with the bottom there. Push it, push it on back and basically just push the, push the bolt back, snap it into place, and there you go. It's ready to drop back in. And then to drop it in, as you see, it's got that little hook on the front there, and it's got the, the little notch in the back. So just work your charging handle in, put that hook up under there in the tab on the back here, give the little plunger a little bit of push in to get it started, and it clicks right into place, and you're good to go. She's reassembled just as easy as that. So I really like that. I thought that was pretty cool the way this thing breaks down, and it's got all the tools and everything ready for you. So... Uh, I think that's about all it is to, to say. Uh, there's, like I say, there's some other videos on this out there, and it's been out a little bit, but I, I, this thing caught my eye, and I wanted to pick it up. But I do have some range video i got to get edited up, and I should be posting that in the next, either to, uh, tomorrow, probably tomorrow, Monday, it'll probably be up. So there it is, guys, the, the Winchester Wildcat 22LR. That about takes care of a little quick review on this one. Uh, I really like this gun for so far and and actually from the range y'all see like i say I'm, I'm getting ready to edit that up and post it up the range video run out perfect all except that drum mag which y'all y'all see there uh need a, needs a little adjustment on the sights which i'll take care of but at any rate we'll get that posted up y'all stay tuned stay tuned for that we shot uh some steel and we shot some of them explosive targets that you saw on my uh my rough rider video so definitely keep an eye out for that it's coming very soon uh if y'all like these videos if y'all enjoy watching them hit that thumbs up leave me a comment down below what you think about this gun uh make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed i really appreciate all y'all who already are and i appreciate everybody who's, who's planning on doing it and watches my videos but in the meantime y'all stay safe stay prepared and we'll see y'all soon